Hi, my name is Andre Cote. I'm with the Public Service Alliance of Canada. My name is Lynn Wu. I'm with the Canadian Union of Postal Workers. And why did you choose Women's World to come and talk about uh, privatization and uh, its effect on unions, specifically women? Well, this is a great uh, conference with uh, 1,600 women from around the world, and a lot of Canadian sisters are here. Uh, in the trade union movement, which is great, and it's with under the Harper government. I think it's probably one of the last conferences of this kind we're going to have for a little bit of, of a, a year, a couple of years, a little while. So I thought it was a great uh, opportunity not to be missed. Um, and I and I think, and our union thinks that unionization is such an important part of the discussion for women in any country because it's the fastest way to um, raise women's wages but also this was specifically about the public sector and privatization and the public sector is key to women being able to have secure safe um, lives with good employment um, not only because they work in the public sector with good jobs but also the services allow them to work and allow their children to be safe while they're working. And how did you feel the response was today in the room? We had, like, I counted, we had 55 member, uh, women there, all from different unions, organizations. How did you feel the response was? I think the response was great. I think a lot of women feel a sense of solidarity with what's happening with workers in the public sector. I think that they see what's at stake for our members at PSAC, but also for women in the labor movement and for all workers. Uh, so I'm, I'm really um, optimistic coming out of this workshop that we will be able to uh, generate more uh, solidarity and, uh, and develop links with women here in the women's movement and around the world. And just for you, I was wondering if you can tell me in what way, I mean, one of the themes of the conference is breaking, breaking, breaking barriers, breaking cycles. In what way do you think that this meeting today contributed to that? Well, I think, um, as I said, unionization is a, a very important part of breaking a cycle of poverty for women. And uh, breaking that poverty means women have a choice sometimes about whether they stay in an abusive relationship or they have protection by being able to go to a union if they're not being treated properly at work. Um, but I also think we're at a key time because even though we've seen such a sliding of rights um, on a lot of, for workers, for women, I think there's starting to be a growing consciousness that something has to be done. So I felt in this room, um, a lot of people that are, you know, it's not, they're not blasé. They're just really searching for a way to bring us together and fight back. They realize what the dangers are for sliding backwards for women and for workers. And do, do both of you, just on a closing note, do you both have any last message to give out to people, all, of you, all the women here today at this conference? Uh, regards to anything, doesn't have to be just about what your presentation was, but do you have any final message? Well, I would say I am now a grandmother and I was involved in the women's movement in the 70s and 80s and 90s, etc. So for me, it's like another recommitment to um, these issues for women. I have a granddaughter, I have a daughter, and I I refuse to see things go back to what my mother or my grandparents would talk about. And uh, so, you know, I think there's a lot of people that are feeling that commitment. I certainly uh, feel recommitted uh, because of that, and I'm, I'm actually quite hopeful. I think it's important to remember, too, that women have power, and that if we get together and organize and decide on a strategy, we can, in fact, uh, exercise a lot of power in society. We can stop the way things are going and uh, really take take more space and take more room and do it in a different style and in a different way of doing politics. Uh, and I think we're seeing with this crowd at this event uh, the possibility of, of reclaiming some of that power and some of that last ground yeah. with all sorts of ideas. We had some very radical ideas coming out of our workshop in terms of civil disobedience and we've had um, a lot of other ideas in terms of the importance of trade unionists to talk to people in their communities, to put a face on who are public sector workers and to really do that work on the ground to win people's hearts. And I think that people are, are ready. We've had 30 years of neoliberal propaganda and people are starting to realize it is propaganda. And I think we, we can start 
I agree. I think the tides are turning. Mm -hmm. And a lot of young people are coming back. I think we had a, a kind of a lost generation in the 80s and 90s of pe people being convinced that they had to focus on their RSPs and investing in their own individual happiness. And I think a lot of people now are starting to realize that that's just not, not working and we do have to organize as a movement. I think the challenge for us is to define some priorities so that we can actually have strong collective action that make a difference and that can win change. Yeah. I didn't hear cynicism, I heard anger and I heard trying to figure out a way to get around this, but cynicism is what kills us and, and I didn't hear that no, today. No. And we're seeing a new women's movement again and that is so exciting.